So, lecture 28. I'll try to keep this one short. Um, so, this is just putting together the thing we did in the last lecture with, um, you know, the multivariate power series, which I think I already talked about in the other course. So, I won't um, belabor that too much here, just to say that um, for a function of several variables, we can calculate the multivariate power series. And when we do that, the um, part at second order is naturally identified with a quadratic form. And so if the first order part is zero because um, it's a critical point, then the second order part dominates the expression. And the nature of the second order part can be understood by studying its spectrum, which is to say by studying its eigenvalues. All right, so that's what I do in these examples here. So the question asks us to find the critical points and to analyze eigenvalues of the Hessian to classify um, each critical point as a minimum, maximum, or saddle. So here's the function, and here's a function of three variables. So part A, calculate the gradient, and we figure out that the critical point is 1, 0. 1, 0 is the only critical point. Now the Hessian here, or the matrix of second derivatives, is fx, x, fx, y, fx, y, f, y, y. Of course, that's a symmetric matrix, right? And in this case, it's 10, 8, 8, 10. And so usually you actually have to plug in the point, but not this time, oh well. And the eigenvalues of this one end up being 2 and 18. So since they're both positive, that means that um, f of 1, 0 is a local minimum. Because what this essentially tells us is that, you know, the, the quadratic form corresponding to the Hessian can be written as like, you know, 2 times, well, 18 times x bar 1 squared plus 2 times x bar 2 squared. So if you think about values close to the point, they're going to be increasing off that critical point because both are positive. Um, this next one uh, has um, only the origin as its critical point. All right. And um, so you can look at the, the matrix of second derivatives and you get this. Sorry if I'm out of frame here. You can look to so the origin, it's the only critical point, because the gradient of f being 0 implies just 0. The matrix, this matrix is singular, is uh, non-singular. It's determined that it's non-zero, which means that the only solution of this is the zero solution, um, because you can multiply by the inverse matrix and get x, y, z equal to 0. So 0 is the only critical point, and um, the matrix of second derivatives is that. And then we can calculate its, come on, um, spectrum, which is to say to calculate its, uh, now in, in here I've actually got some calculation, but I told you guys, please, by all means, use the website, um, use a website to calculate the, uh, or, or a, web, a software, whatever, to calculate the um, uh, eigenvalues of a three by three matrix. Two by two, I think you can do by hand, no problem. And, and you guys are good. You probably can do the 3x3 three three too, but 3x3 three three determinant, finding eigenvalues, eh, factoring a cubic, that was dicey. Um, but I do it here. I'm sure this is not my first try. Um, I was doing some <laughs> I was doing some row operations just to show off. I don't know why. Um, great. Anyway, after some calculation, I figured out that the um, eigenvalues were minus 2, 6 and minus 6, which shows you you have both negative and positive eigenvalues, which means that the origin is in fact a saddle point. Um, so again, if you, if you're, you know, I, I haven't said too much here about the multivariate power series expansion, I would just point out that you can go back to that part in calculus 3 and then perhaps when you pair that with what we're doing here, it makes more sense, I don't know. In any event, that's all I got to say for now. If you need additional information about any of this stuff, please feel free to contact me. I don't mind. Um, of course, I may be slow getting back to you over break, but I will try to get back to you. So, thanks, guys.